So this is the Star Wars fuel cell. We finally in it. We've got our hands on it and it's got a reasonably uncluttered array. This is supposed to run on hydrogen fuel and uh, completely zero emission and higher power than other conventional energy, clean energy sources. As you can see, there's a lot of buttons over here. We haven't exactly tried out all of it, but standard array of controls. Here we get the speedometer and the tachometer. Apart from that, the standard switches over here, drive neutral and red, and you also get steering controls for uh, your trip meter. This would be your mode for the MID over there, and uh, buttons to control it. Apart from that, you get AC controls over there. So nothing really overwhelming in terms of controls or anything, but it's also got auto height adjusting seats, which seems pretty fancy. And yeah, apart from that, it's mostly about the tech that powers the so, hydrogen fuel cell battery. Well, Tata is also presenting a lot of changes in its interiors, so apart from the general upholstery and uh, a wood finish on the flooring. As you can see, there's a seating height adjustment over here so that you do not clash knees with your opposing person who's sitting right opposite you. Apart from that, there are also a few neat inclusions. For instance, you get two USB ports here, two USB ports here, that's four. And you get four ahead of you as well. So there are eight USB ports in total in this bus that will help you to charge your mobile devices on the go. That is also pitching for more infotainment units within its new buses but that is still yet to come around but apart from that it seems fairly familiar there's a passenger information display up front but uh, nothing really overwhelming in terms of the technology inside to talk about so much of the technology focus for Tata's new Starburst fuel cell and electric happens to be within the battery. Now we are inside the Starburst Hybrid and this is a little different from the fuel cell in the sense that I can see a little more dash of uh, in-bus technology so to say. There's a send help button over here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that works but we're going to find out very soon. Apart from that there seems to be a couple of emergency switches over here and uh, the rest of it is fairly similar but what we have is this. This seems to be a central console that gives you GPS, gives you access to cameras and shows pre-recorded messages. Along with that from what we can see is that you can access phone controls and well of course GPS and even fuel warnings so to say. So this is a new uh, addition to this bus which we did not see in the Star Wars fuel cell. Apart from that everything else including the interiors remain the same. Well, as you can see, as the name suggests, it's a 100% electric bus. This is the Starbus Electric. Uh, this is the non-AC variant, which is kind of being aimed for more city rides. As we spoke to Tata's technological director, Dr. Jindal, a while back, his main point is that it'll have a range of about 120 kilometers, which will allow it to do about two to three full trips, depending on which route it's flying. We're gonna quickly look at its interiors, but Tata's pledge for clean energy is actually mainly this rather than the fuel cell and the hybrid that are gonna come up later. We're gonna quickly look at what it seems like from the inside. You get into the driver's seat which seems fairly similar in all the buses. You get a microphone over here for adjustment but all of these, let me remind you, are accessories that you can include in your bus later on. On the inside it's fairly the same as you've always seen in city buses. So there's nothing really different to boot but once again Tata is saying that you can choose accessories for instance USB ports and everything else that you would want for your infotainment system. You can also include an AC in this bus and you get a passenger information system as well as a public announcement unit. 
Apart from that, you get the central console, which is fairly similar. Once again, just a little bit of redesign in terms of the way the controls are arranged, uh, as you would get here, and lesser controls, in fact, than the other two. And uh, well, that's it. This is an all electric bus, which is the first of its kind in India, and we still haven't seen any plying. Tata still has not received much orders or any orders so far but they still believe that they are going to get in a lot of orders for the electric buses and it remains to be seen when we can see this on the road So we are sitting right now on the Starbucks hybrid we come out for a ride, we might even be able to drive it soon. But uh, the first reaction that you get in this bus is that it's really quiet. In fact, I can hear the whine of the motors but more than that, the air conditioning uh, sounds louder than the motors themselves. Apart from that, the suspension is actually well balanced, it's kind of smoother although this road itself is fairly decent here. You don't always turn around in the city in such clean roads. But apart from that, it's a fairly familiar bus experience, albeit that you do not hear the engine roll of the bus, which is a little jarring, we should be honest. But apart from that, it's all the same. So we are here at the Tata Motors design studio and there's a lot of focus on modern design, new trends in designing of the automobiles in line with smart cities. That's what Tata has to tell us. As you can see, there's a timeline that Tata has presented in its design studio of their vision for connectivity in urban cities right now. Here we are at Tata's design studio and this is essentially where all the cars are sketched, planned and thought out. Here we are at the 2D desk. This is where the very first sketches of Tata's cars are made as you can see. This is the Starbus hybrid and this is the initial design and the schematics that are being designed. We have designers going forward as well. Then after this we move on to digital design which is where the 2D sketches are truly formed into three-dimensional renders of these. So over here we get a more realistic idea into what the bus or whichever vehicle that's being designed is going to look like eventually. Now all of this gives you a complete idea of how the car is going to be followed by which you get a clay model which renders your design in actual real life 3D. So over here as you can see there are the designers who are building. Hi friends, So after all this, that, uh, all of this leads to the final Tata Starbus hybrid that is presently being designed. Now this is the full model of the design that you can see has been planned. This is a, a small render of the entire design. So that in a sense is how Tata's designing goes ahead. And uh, this entire floor as you can see is where Tata displays its designs and works on the renders and all of it. Starting from commercial vehicles to personal vehicles, all of this is designed in this hub.